Speed requires bandwidth. It's a simple concept, but it's one of the most pressing issues around. The ever-increasing use of the Internet and today's flood of digital information exchange means more and more people want bandwidth on demand, very high bandwidth on demand. Up next, a report on fiber optic technology and how it's solving the bandwidth problem with the creation of optical networks. Technologically speaking, we're on the threshold of a very interesting point in history. A lot of people believe that the opportunity of a lifetime stands before us in the form of the Internet. Certainly no one can argue with its amazing growth or the fact that it's changing the way so many of us live. It's quite literally unlike anything anyone has ever seen before. This past holiday season, records were set for e-commerce with $8.2 billion in sales. And it's estimated that a full 25% of all retail stock purchases today take place online. The truth is, the World Wide Web stands ready to fundamentally change the way we create prosperity in the coming century. But it's important to remember, the Internet wasn't originally designed to handle the immense volume of data that flows over it today. Its reliability, for example, as measured by downtime, congested networks, etc., doesn't even come close to the reliability of today's voice networks. Nortel Networks has provided the equipment that carries over 75% of the Internet traffic today. What's more, we are providing a thousand time improvement in reliability over the previous generation of Internet backbone networks. As well, we are delivering equipment that gives unprecedented levels of data accuracy. To accommodate the massive bandwidth required for reliable voice communication, data transport, and any future killer applications is with the development of a next generation Internet, an optical Internet. The optical Internet is designed to deliver massive bandwidth that is completely flexible, reliable, and just as important, affordable. A modern fiber optic system can provide 320 gigabytes per second of capacity per fiber optic strand. To put that number in perspective, that's 10 million times the speed of the dial-up modems we use at home. In practice, 320 gigabytes per second per strand translates into enough capacity to carry 4 million data and voice calls simultaneously. The technology used to accomplish this is called dense wavelength division multiplexing, a technology that splits beams of light into different colors and maximizes capacity. Nortel Networks has developed technology which organizes information into light pulses. And we've created this technology that can take multiple light pulses or colors and multiplex them down a single strand of fiber, much like the colors of a rainbow. The goal for Nortel's optical internet is simple. Use fiber optics to ensure that people can access high-speed data connections and reliable voice lines while helping service providers around the country do it for the lowest possible cost per bit of data transmitted. The payoff is economical bandwidth that meets the high demands of both internet and voice traffic. If you spend time on the information superhighway, then you know that highway is getting congested. Often, both the on- and off-ramps are gridlocked. But new solutions like the optical internet can help ensure that every lane stays open all the time, which should help make our daily digital commute easier than ever. For Dotcom, I'm Corey James.